Matt here again and I'm going to do another video for you, a little comparison video and if you remember not too long ago I did the Home Depot haul video and I bought these DeWalt pliers they look like uh, Nipex style pliers and I've had them for about a month now Put them right after Christmas I guess I got them at Christmas so a couple weeks anyways I guess it's been a couple weeks but I've used them a few times and actually they've been awesome um, they grip like crazy now this is a 10 inch pair of Nipex can't hardly see it PC 10s it's a 10 inch Nipex plier um, Cobra plier you see the jaw on them is pretty close to the same design as that on the DeWalt. Uh, there's a lot of these that are out now, but I've got those and I've got this is just a Sears brand of channel lock, old channel lock style plier. What I'm gonna do is clamp a nut. See I've got a I've got three bolts and they're all brand new bolts. They are grade eight. Grade 8, grade 8, and a Stover nut. And if you don't know what a Stover nut is, if you look real close at that nut, it's a lock nut. It's not exactly round. And if you've ever used a Stover nut, it's kind of like the nylock with the plastic in it, only a lot harder to deal with. Now I'm going to clamp that nut into this vise, and I'm going to, a couple different ways here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab a hold of this hex on the bolt and try and turn it into the nut and then with, I'm going to do it with each one of these and then I'm going to take it on the plier and try and turn it and see how see how we do here now my bench will probably move a little bit that's why I got it kind of cocked on the vise there I'm trying to minimize that and we'll see how it works I get you guys set up here, and then I got a little surprise. Shoot it at the vise there. A little bit of a surprise here at the end. I don't know how that's going to work yet. So, and put that in there. Hopefully, so it doesn't move. Let's try the. Uh, Channel lock pliers are a Sears brand. Try and get them on the vise. Tighter. What's the move on me? Grabbing it like that. That's not too awful bad. I can turn it through the nut. They're doing a pretty good job. I'm trying to back it off here. It doesn't seem like that much effort, actually. And these are half inch bolts, and take a three quarter inch if you were going to put it on the nut or the, or the bolt. Loose by hand. Now we do the the Nipex next. Here we got. Uh, let's see. Nipex. This one. This might be a little bit of a long video. So feel free to skip through. But we'll do this again. Nipex is just, they're just made for this. You can see that. They grab at both sides, top and bottom. They just grab right onto the bolt in the shape of the bolt. And you just push. If you get them set up right, it's just.
do those. Those work pretty well. Actually, as far as that goes, I don't think the tuna locks were any worse to use than that pair of pliers. where the DeWalt are probably going to shine on this part of it is just because they're bigger. So that's the 10 inch Nipex and then we have the yeah, 12 inch DeWalt. And these, the neat part about these, if you get it where you want and just slide, slide it on down on almost ratchet it past. And that's how those are going to work. And they do have a, a wider jaw on these. If you don't like that, you can loosen it up. And just keep rolling through. You got it where you want it. I kind of like it that way. And I know some of the newer Nipex do the same thing. That's the same thing. Now, you're never really going to do this. If, you know, obviously you're going to use a wrench or a socket. Or, I don't know, you just saw the downside to the, the waltz if it slip off. It would be a pain in the butt that way. Good deal. I do like them. Now, if you don't want to mark something up, don't use any of these pliers because that's what they're doing. Tearing the crap out of it. And there you go. We're back to being backed off. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you these real quick. Of the Lowe's today, and Irwin is making the same thing. These are brand new in the package. Vice Grip brand from Irwin. They had the, let me, let me get this right, 10 and 8 and 10. So there's another pair of 10 inch pliers, and then there's an 8 inch pair. These are the Irwin branded. And I'm probably going to leave the 10 inch here at home since I have the nip back to work. And I'll take the 8 inch to work. Here, let's see, let's find it here. Two piece set. You can see that, $14.98. Yeah, $14.98. I bought a two pack of bits there too, but that's for some for my impact driver. $14.98 for two pair of the vice grip. You want to call them knockoff? Fine. The Nipex style the pliers. Now, I've already seen a pair of these. A guy at work has a pair of the 12 inch. Same design, except these don't rat. Yeah, they do ratchet. Yep. So, let's try these. Again, 10 inch. Obviously, you get length with the 12 inch. But they're great old. No problem. So about the same. They ratchet a little harder than the, than a D-Wall. So in some cases, could be kind of nice. They don't lose your place so easy. I can't turn that by hand. I can grab hold of it with both hands and I couldn't turn it. Well, you put a pair of mechanics gloves on. Do the same thing. I just want you guys to know that's not a regular nut. There's my 
possible way. It's not going to happen. I just can't. I can't. It's a, it's a lock nut. It's still got it out of shapeness. That's what a nut, like nut or a stover nut does. Same thing here. I can't turn it anywhere past that. So this is a brand new bolt, brand new nut again. I'm gonna do the same thing. Put it in here and in the vise. I'm gonna do a little bit different. Lock it down. What do we want to start with? Let's start with the uh, channel locks again. Now we'll take the channel locks, get them set. We're going to go on the round part of the bolt. Let's say you don't have anything. And we're just going to keep grabbing hold. It is doing it. We're all the way up into the jaw. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm tight in the jaw. And it's going. I'm slipping. I'm slipping and I'm pulling a lot. Let me get the next one down so I get a little more leverage. It's too much, it's too loose. My handles are together. So that's about all the farther we're gonna get out of that. Right there to where we got it. That's how far we went with it before it hit. Literally tore the crap out of that bolt. It's slipping. Darn near smooth. You can see some teeth marks there, but it's darn near smooth. It did good up to that point. Get back in here. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try the Irwin's. The 10 inch pair of Irwin's. And like going forward, you gotta take the top jaw where the angle is, put it right in the heart of that bolt, and ratchet it up. And then just push. Oh my, it's turning it like nothing. Not even trying. That's ridiculous. That's easy. Right up in there, and pull it back out. Not slipping once. Not even trying to slip. Now you're gonna destroy some bolts doing this. So let me show you something. That was brand new. That's a brand new pair. So I don't have any tried testing true stuff on that one. But still, check that out. I tore that bolt up and, and I'm off. I'm off. I turned it down, I turned it back. I still can't grab it. Okay, so now let's take the first one we took since we were just on the head of the bolt. Let's put that back in there. Same nut and bolt we started with. We did the Irwin's Vice Grip brand. Let's try the uh, Nipex. My Nipex don't ratchet, so it takes me a minute to get them perfect. Okay, on the bolt. A major advantage, especially in the 10 inch, compared to the Irwin's is going to be the width of the jaw. i got to be honest with you. That Irwin turned this in easier. Let's see if I can get a better grip on it. Oh, that's a little better. That's about a tooth off. But this is slipping. was easier to work with. <clears throat> I 
And I'm slipping with the nip bags. I'm trying with them. I'm slipping. It won't do it. It won't go any farther. I'd have never guessed that because I'm a Nipex guy. I love the Nipex pliers. If I had the 12 inch Nipex, probably a different story, but that's a 10 inch, what they're calling a 10 inch here, and what Nipex calls a 10 inch here. See the length. I'll show you. And that might be all the difference. The wider jaw might actually help you there. Now the narrow jaw for getting in tight spaces is obviously nice. And it do work well, but I didn't I didn't get real far on that one. And that Irwin would have turned that thing down clear to the end. It just was going so easy. One more, and then we'll be done. Let's try this. Dewalt. Dewalt, Dewalt, whatever you want to say. Let's try it real quick. Far. Yeah. And then she goes. That was a new bolt, by the way. Struggling a little bit. It's doing it, but it's struggling a little bit. This might end up the same. She's not wanting to gra grab. She's not wanting to grab this this hard bolt. It's doing it, but I'm really struggling. Let me see. I'm not paid by anybody either, so. I just bought this, oh my goodness, vice grips, it's so easy, I don't know what else to do, oh, I can get it to do it, but it's not easy, well, I hate to say it guys, but I think it's the best one here if they hold up. If they hold up. Especially for the price point. Right there. Right there. Vice grip, Irwin's. I kind of wish I had the 12 inch Nipex to try out on this. Maybe I'll see if somebody's got a pair at work and I can borrow. But Wow. There you go. That's my video for today. I'll catch you in the next one. Got me out of breath trying to do all that turning on that bolt. Them suckers are tore up too. Hey, check that out. That's a grade 8 bolt and they are tearing it up. I really thought the Dewalt would uh, do better than that. I think it's because it's a grade 8. Because I had it on a pipe yesterday. It bit like crazy. But as far as the hardness, biting on a hard bolt, the vice grip didn't have a problem at all. That's what I put my money on. All right, remember to like, subscribe, and uh, you can follow me on Facebook if you'd like. I got a Facebook account, and I've been posting my videos there too. So if you'd rather watch on Facebook, they're there. It just links you over to YouTube again but uh, there's a couple other things there not a whole lot yet haven't been uh, I'm leaps and bounds behind on social media so I only have Facebook and, and YouTube so uh, follow me on either one and we'll catch you in the next one thanks